Hey everyone, in this video I'll show you how to import your Strabo field samples into Strabo Micro. Um, so here we're looking inside of my Strabo field project uh, in the website, um, and this is the project I used for the field app tutorial. Uh, but if I zoom into my spots here, this is what my field project looks like. Uh, and on the left panel here, I can look at my samples. So I've collected three samples in this project, um, sample two, sample three, sample four. I can view that one in the spot and there's some information about it. Um, so these are the same um, fields that we would fill in in Strabo Micro. How in place is it? Uh, what's your sampling purpose? And so all of that can get pre-filled in Strabo Micro and it's attached to the location. So um, just to show you what this looks like in the Strabo field app, we've collected the sample using the sample tab. So if you don't see that, um, you need to turn samples on here. And then when you collect the sample, you can add your sample using that module. So inside of Strabo Micro, uh, we'll go to File, and this time we'll press New Project from Field Data. So assuming you're signed into your Strabo Spot account, uh, it'll load for a second. Oop, there we go. And uh, so this is my project. Uh, it's called Strabo Demo, so I'll go Next. And then here it'll ask you which data set. So you want to select the data set that your samples are a part of. Uh, in this case, they're a part of data set two. And this is my list of samples. Um, so I'll go with sample two here. Um, next, I'll ask for the reference micrograph so you can load that in. And then it'll ask the same sorts of questions that uh, we got when we imported a sample last time. So what type of image is it? Um, so here we have a CPX image. I'll go next, and you can fill in some data about the instrument and the software. I'll go next, and here we can give it a name. I'll just go sample 2, 2xxpl, and here we can put in some notes. And now it asks about the orientation. Um, if it is oriented, you can either use the trend and plunge of the uh, two edges here, uh, and the strike and dips of the surface here. Or you can go fabric reference frame. In my case, it's an XZ cross section. I can fill in a strike and dip. And we click the uh, highest corner. And then we can set our scale. So I'll just trace the scale bar again. Then I'll go here, zoom in, use the line button. Let's do that. And that's a thousand and finish. So this will save it out. Uh, we have our sample there on the side. And then when we go to add another sample, we have the option to create a new sample. So if it's not in your Strabo field project, you tap this button. Uh, otherwise you can add another sample from Strabo spot. Um, and so sample two is gone because it's already imported in there, um, but we can import sample three or sample four. And it's the same process for that as well. One more thing to add here. Uh, so if we have our sample selected and on the right, we open up the side panel, uh, you'll see all of the metadata that's been imported from the Strabo field app. So all of this stuff here I've written in uh, when I was collecting the sample in Strabo field. And uh, we can edit it as well in Strabo micro if we'd like. So we can uh, put in some notes or just change what we've written inside of the Strabo field app. Um, save that out. And then we also have this button here, view sample at strabospot.org. So when you click that, it'll take you to this page. Uh, and basically you can look at the spot that this sample is a part of. Uh, and it's already selected inside of the uh, sample tab here. Uh, and it'll give you the information about the sample itself in the context of your field project. Thanks.